As a young person, I have lived through a dictatorship gangster regime. I have seen the worst part in Africa wherein protesters have no rights to protest and when they take to the street to protest, they can get shot, they can get tear gas, they can get baton and beaten. And in 2003, two million people took to the street to demonstrate against the war in Iraq. You know, I saw that as an opportunity for me to see really how democracy works, you know, in a free and democratic country. So I went with my camera and I, tr I started to film the events unfolding. So when I saw an incident in the protest in London where a police officer batoned somebody and blood pouring out, I was shocked. So since then, I continue to film demonstrations. I have interviewed a lot of protesters and I have observed the relationship between protesters and the government, the police. When I filmed the student demonstration, which was just a progression of what I was doing, documenting this relationship, I was even more shocked because the violence actually intensified and to see the tension between the police and the protesters and the anger and, and the batons going through, you know, and the people trying to force their way out of kettles. You know, for me, that's fascinating. It's also fascinating to see a test of democracy being applied in the streets between the government and the people. It's quite challenging sometimes to film this protest because you know, I, I don't belong to the press corps. I'm not a member of the press. So I don't have a press pass. And without a press pass, you can't really move freely in demonstrations. And, and they won't even allow you to go into kettles or even get out of kettles. You're in a situation wherein the police don't trust you because the police actually think I am gathering evidence against them. And the protesters think I'm actually a spy from the police spying on them gathering evidence for the police. So I get attacked on both sides, you know. Sometimes I'm in the front, you know, giving the protesters point of view and I get batoned by the police and sometimes the protesters will come and attack me, you know. So it's quite challenging to get the footage really, to film these people, to film this relationship. I hope I also get a balance in this documentary to be able to have the opportunity to interview the other side as well, to give me their perspective in these demonstrations, especially the student demonstration. And I just think the public have a right to know.